Hello viewers, it's an emotional moment again as Taylor Swift, who is Selena Gomez's very best friend, revealed that Selena is no more after Justin Bieber. But let's stay tuned with the celebrity channel here as the real details will be revealed. Taylor Allison Swift is an American songwriter that became a teen idol and pop icon following global fame. Billboard op and wow, only a few artists have had the chart success, critical acclaim, and fan support that Swift wields. Journalists have written about her polite, open personality and willing to play along. J. Freedom Duloc of the Washington Post called Swift a media darling and a reporter's dream. What a compliment. The Guardian attributed her disposition to her formative years in country music. The Hollywood Reporter described Swift as the best people person since Bill Clinton. While presenting her with an award for her humanitarian endeavors in 2012, Former First Lady Michelle Obama described Swift as an artist who had rocketed to the top of the music industry but still keeps her feet on the ground. Someone who has shattered every expectation of what a 22-year-old can accomplish. And furthermore, Swift considers Obama to be a role model. Bieber and Gomez, both in the spotlight from a young age, have had trouble keeping their relationship private. In 2016, the ex-lovers hurled cheating accusations at each other over Instagram visible to their millions of combined followers, in a heated spat which caused Bieber to delete his account altogether. But according to Selena, she said that those days are now over, and she's ready to step into a whole nother chapter. For it is dangerous to stay in a victim mentality, Gomez said. And I'm not being disrespectful, I do feel I was a victim to a certain abuse. When asked if she was referring to emotional abuse, the bad liar hitmaker said, yes, then elaborated, Despite noting that she didn't want to go to spend the rest of her life talking about her past with Bieber, who married model Haley Baldwin in 2018. I had to find a way to understand it as an adult, and I had to understand the choices I was making, Gomez said. I am really proud that I can say I feel the strongest I've ever felt, and I found a way to just walk through it with as much grace as possible. I want to be able to tell my story the way I want to tell it, she said, calling attention to the sensationalized media coverage. I wasn't going to pretend to put a smile on when it was actually awful. A few of the worst moments of my life, I just had to find a way to reclaim my story. Her reclamation project, Rare, is out now. Let's take a look at how intimate Taylor Swift and Selena was. The two have been teenage best friends who never miss an opportunity to give their fans best friend goals. And well, boys might come and go, but girlfriends are forever. Once during an interview, Selena revealed one thing about her bestie Taylor that she can't stand, and it's not what you might be thinking. For those of you who don't know, Selena and Taylor have been friends forever. They've literally been there for each other through thick and thin, and they've both been quite vocal about their struggles in life and how they've been each other's support system for all these years. Back in 2009, during a conversation with Teen Vogue, Selena Gomez opened on her friendship with Taylor Swift and said, we talk every single day, and every time she comes to town, we go out to dinner. Gomez continued and revealed one thing that she can't stand about her BFF, Taylor Swift, and said, She has helped me through some really hard times, and the thing I can't stand about the girl is that she doesn't even need to dress up, and she still looks pretty. <laughs> I mean, we totally agree with Cell here. The Rare singer then revealed that from very early on in her career, she has taken inspiration with Swift, and has always admired her fashion sense. To be honest, when I was younger, Taylor inspired me a lot when it comes to wardrobe and stage outfits, said Gomez. I mean, what a sweet thing to say. However, things have drastically changed over the years, but their friendship has made it through thick and thin. Everyone knows that the fearless singer was a witness to her best friend, Selena's worst phase during the Justin Bieber relationship. But do you know she cried about it? Be sure to continue listening for more details. As most friends and fans are aware that Selena got back to her best with her album Rare. It was all about her revival and facing the worst to become what she is today, the unstoppable. Many very well know that her songs, Look At Her Now and You Lose To Love Me, have been inspired by her relationship with Justin Bieber. It was a 10 year long journey that faced abuse and emotional chaos. Hmm, viewers that's quite a deep thought. When Selena Gomez made Taylor Swift watch the music videos of both songs, it brought the love story singer to tears. Recalling the entire incident, Selena told Kiss UK, I was with her when I played her some of it, she started. I'll never forget when I did play the video for You Lose to Love Me and look at her now at her house with her parents. 
and it was one of the coolest experiences because I've been friends with her for over a decade and love her family as well. So I was like, do you just maybe want to see the video? And she's like, amazing, of course. It was so hysterical. She just started turning off every single light off in the kitchen and I was like, this is not that intense, Taylor. Selena Gomez continued and then she played it and her and her mom just started crying. Like just tears and tears and all of a sudden it stopped and it's going to make me cry thinking about it because it wasn't about how great the song was, which is a lot coming from her. It was just that they had been on that journey with me intimately and they were crying because of how proud they were for me stepping into a whole new era of my life and it not involving the horrible things, the abuse, the emotional chaos. It felt like I had a huge sigh of relief and to see her and her mom feel that way, it was very sweet. It's like an older sister and an aunt proud of their friend. It feels great to have people I love to see it like that. She's been through so much, Swift added. I've watched so much happen in her life and had a front row seat to so much and I am so proud of her. She is such a revelation because now she's making her best stuff. Swift continued, the things that she's overcome, the situation she's risen above, it's been a long time since we were friends and she's the best. She's just the best. I'm really excited because when somebody has had a great life experience, has had really tough things that they had to go through and they can process that and make art that is going to help other people. And that's what kind of song this is. I'm stoked. Swift added that she can't speak for Gomez's experience entirely, but she's thrilled at how far her friend has come. Just from my perspective as her friend, I've just never been more proud, she said. With a great shower of love, it's so obvious that Taylor Swift is absolutely living for Selena Gomez's new song, Love You To Lose Me, and Look At Her Now. Why? Partially because they make Justin Bieber look bad, of course, which means Selena is no more after Justin. She has moved on. Well, just when we thought that Selena Gomez and Haley Baldwin feud was dying down, another mini drama brewed up amid the release of Selena's recent songs, Love You To Lose Me and Look At Her Now. Taylor Swift, who totally does not get along with Justin Bieber in any way, shape, or form, is reportedly supporting Selena's decision to drag Justin in her music. The song was inspired by Selena's breakup from Justin. It's actually about finally being able to love yourself and moving on from a toxic relationship. Hence, Selena is no more after Justin Bieber. After the song came out, Taylor publicly congratulated Selena. The song is a perfect expression of healing and my absolute favorite song she has put out yet. Taylor wrote on an Instagram story, A triumph. I love you so much. At Selena Gomez. But that brings us to the end of the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to like. And of course, subscribe to our channel. Never miss out on the best, juicy, and insane celebrity news. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.